Good evening and welcome back to RimWorld. I'm Odia Piranis. We're back at our colony. Lobster's Den Tribe is the name of it for some reason. Lobster's still hanging on here. The forefather of the of the five we started with. We got two remaining still um, who are holding down the fort. Uh, I wish they would stop eating raw food. I have thought I had this off limits. You know what? I didn't do it actually. I take that back. I didn't set it up. Okay, we're going to have to do that really, really quick here. Um, zone an area here quick and we need non-cooks. Okay, so I set everybody up. I set the areas up. We just didn't set up non-cooks and cooks. Okay, so everyone should be non-cooks, and then lobster should be cooks. Okay, that should stop them from eating that raw food here. We just need lobster to be on his games when we starve to death. Is the trick. And it is a trick. And lobster's gonna eat raw food. No, I'm not gonna let you do it either. Um, refuel it. And then I want you cooking. Oh, you know what? There's no bill set up. That's why. I, that's the only problem with this campfires is that we gotta, um, we gotta do that frequently. Cook a meal. There you go. Eat a regular meal here, guys. Actually, they're gonna grab all this meat you've been dragging out of there, helping them out a little bit, I guess. People start grabbing the meals now, but there you go. All right, Larson's cleaning up the place. It basically looks spick and span now. How about that? Uh, now you guys are going a little bit overboard on the cleaning. I wish I could set like cleaning area, not like don't want you like cleaning up the entire planet of blood. I mean, there's a lot of blood to clean up. Okay, there's better uses of your time, guys. Um, yeah, turn the cleaning off again. Jeez, they go a little overboard sometimes. They get a little in the zone, a little OCD sometimes. But at least they got the initial area cleaned up here. Okay, so the other thing we need to do is now we have some wood. Set up some torch lamps here so they're not in the dark when uh. We're outside here. Days for Sayuri. Really? Huh. She should have no problems here. Should be a nice place to live. Um, put up some lights around here. Um, there we go. These lamps will provide a little bit of heat and uh, light, and people will be happy about the light situation, I think, now. Nice and bright. Okay, so these temp temperatures in here are looking pretty good. 13, 10, 0 in here. Oh, there's no roof on it yet, that's why. And that could be why this is so cold in here, because I'm thinking the roof didn't extend all the way over. Uh, she'll, she'll, she'll be out of that daze in no time. She's got a little social interaction, and all that meals are gone already. Jeez, people like are too hungry around here. All they do is eat. All they do is eat. It's like they want to keep their strength up or something. Kuro is cleaning again. Why are you cleaning still? There's nothing better to do. It's a problem if you've got nothing better to do. Cargo pods. Hello. What do we got? Components. Well, we can grab them. Uh, okay, Kuro, I want you hauling rather than cleaning then. Larson, same thing. Um, well, Larson could be mining. I mean, yeah, I mean, we need the steel always, so... I'll be mine. Always give him something to mine. Uh, we added on some silver just now, too. There's probably some more silver around here someplace as well. Well, there doesn't have to be, but there could be. Looks like steel, looks like steel, looks like steel. Hey, we have a ranch owner named Stanley Sloan. Calls you from nearby. He's being chased by tribespeople from the Tyrone River. Uh, he begs for safety. He's 27 years old. I think we should just offer safety. Okay, so, um, Sloan here, welcome. Uh, let's see what you're good at, what you can do. Bad at shooting, good at animals, good at construction. Pyromaniac is not great, careful shooter is a fine thing. Um, Optimist is great for us, actually. Uh, that'll, that'll prevent that from happening. Ancient danger, Sloan draws near some ancient danger. And let's see, where these guys are coming from? Coming from up here, probably. Hypothermia, yes, probably not gonna take long for, uh, Larson. Oh, Larson again, really? Larson's gotta protect himself a bit more. Um... He's really susceptible to it. I think he's not wearing appropriate clothing. Alright, I'm gonna take him off of mining. Uh, let's not do it. Let's not do it. Let's give more to construct. And here's our cars. Can we grab a raid anyways? Okay, so Larson, let's get you a weapon here, buddy. I don't think I've ever equipped you with something. Uh, let's see. There's a normal club here. You're good at melee, right? No, he's good at shooting. Uh, equip the Pila. Um, and then Sloan. You're not good at anything, but you're a careful shooter, so I'll give you a Pila.
Oh, I was gonna I gave uh, Larson the pila. Okay. Sayuri's still uh, hanging out. That's good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, we need to regroup here. I'm gonna draft you and bring you back. Uh, where is our other guy here? Kuro, where are you? Yeah, we need to regroup and come back here. And Larson, uh, yeah, you need to get back and get get a weapon. Um. Oh, Sloan, I don't want you doing that, buddy. Here, come come defend yourself. You you got us in the in this mess. You can get us out of it. Okay, looks like uh, Lobster's under attack. He's moving target though. He might be fine. Um, I can't count on Sayuri for anything though. Looks like we're gonna have an issue here in a second. Uh, Larson, can you grab a knife actually? Get up there and get this guy. Oh, nice shot. Okay, cool. I take it back everything I said. Uh, let's get you up here quick so we can defend ourselves and against these guys as they come closer. Um, this is good. This is really good. Uh, major break risk for Larson right now. Uh, I'm gonna put him in here actually. So he gets. I think he's got hypothermia still. Yeah, he's serious hypothermia. Okay. Um, that's okay. We're good. We're good. I think we got this. So there's two guys left. Lobster's not a very good shot. But this wall seems to be doing its job. Okay, they're, they're fleeing, and can we get Lobster to take this guy out quick? Uh, where is he? Oh, yeah, get that guy too. Fire at this guy, kill him if you can. You gotta go over those rocks, you can shoot him, you can get him, you can get him. One shot, one shot, one shot. Oh, look at that shot in the back, I love it. Strip him. Strip him. Strip him and go about your business. You guys, there you go. Strip him before they die. It doesn't count as dead man's clothes, then, does it? All right, everybody's good. We're good. So yes, that's the trick. Is you gotta you gotta incapacitate them and steal their clothes then after that. Um, before they before they die, they don't count as dead man's clothes. Um, even though they're not very good clothing here. Poor shoddy. Yeah, not too bad though. Mega sloth hat. We need Larson to get some better clothing, I think. Uh, let's have him wear this. Toque. This parka. Synth thread tribal wear? Yeah, dude. Uh, I don't know which is better. Probably not the tribal wear. Okay, you're good. We need more graves, Doug. How about that? That's a good problem to have. Uh, oh, you know what though? We could probably be using these guys for food, even though, well, we have a lot of people that are very neurotic. Uh, Sayuri doesn't care. Sayuri, is here. Sayuri doesn't care about the cannibalism. Um, but everyone else does. So, there is that. We need another bed still? Oh, because we just added on a person. That's right. Sloan. Um, yeah, I guess build another bed. Uh, let's make another steel bed in here. And that should be pretty good. I guess what we could do is add in a bedroom like right here. And, well, that's gonna be very cramped, isn't it? How are the temperatures doing in here? 21, 24. This is still cold, but it got a roof on it now, right? Yeah, it's got a roof on it, so better than nothing. Uh, yeah, Sloan will probably have to stay in this main room here. Sayuri's still losing her mind. And Sloan is still bleeding out, because no one's treating him. Dead in 17 hours, Sayuri's no longer in a psychotic state. Please help him. Sayuri, please help him. Take care of yourself first, yes. But then treat him, like, immediately, please. Greet. Nobody dropped any, uh... Nobody dropped any medicine or anything like that for us. Okay, this guy died, but his clothing still counts as new. Um, we got this normal parka here, which is going to be a debuff. Larson's looking a little bit like a convict in this orange jumpsuit right now. How bad is this bed going to be? Shoddy. Well, okay. Now, the question is, do we... Do we bury or do we let... Uh, 
or do we uh, store for food? Food's at a premium. I don't know if we can be picky. I really don't know if we can be that picky. Yeah, I really don't think we can be that picky. Okay, so I'm gonna say storage. Corpses, yep. Of all kinds, and um... I don't want you to bear that guy. Uh, let's see. I don't know how we can turn that off. Are we do not allow human corpses in here? We're allowing all corpses. And it's priority critical. I guess the priority treat their priorities differently. Yeah, I don't want you to do this, buddy. I want you I want I want I want lobster to do the butchering here. Any materials we need to set up the build to butcher now. Yeah, human light can work, just not colonists. Yeah, probably be a burst debuff for that. Alright, let's get into it. No, Kuro, not you either. Let Lobster take care of it. Alright, now you guys can go at your business. And they're not going to be happy about it, but it's going to have to do. Alright, so, Cook Cannibalism is on the menu here in a minute. Um, it's going to have to do. Major break risk for lobster. Yeah, lobster had to butcher two people just now, so I can understand that. Uh, and lobster's going to go dig. Okay, can I have him cook? Rather than dig? Oh, you know what? The cook, the meals isn't, isn't not set up for human like either. Yep, it's uh, forbidden. So, you can do it now. Alright, we're making the choice. We gotta do it. Major break risk for lobster. Yeah, he's gonna get, it's gonna get worse before it gets better, buddy. I'm sorry. Raccoon and human. Oh, man. Not good. Not good. Human meals. Eat up, folks. Eat up. Is there anything else to hunt around here? I should probably take a look at that before I start cooking humans up. There usually isn't when it's winter. And the last of those uh, reindeer escaped, unfortunately. Yeah, there's not anything here. So, it is time to do it. It is time to do it. We're at 4th of winter. Can't be picky. Um, the game's giving us this little blessing of, of raids. It's gonna have to do. Everyone's gonna be a little, have a little more breaks now than usual. But, um, yeah. It's gonna have to be what it is. Because we can't have starvation. Starvation's the bigger problem. I'm gonna expand the stockpile so we can keep storing stuff in there. Everyone's partaking. Larry's feeding its Sloan. And if we can get something researched here, that'd be fantastic. Then we can make better clothing. I think this might unlock the tailoring or not. Let's see, is tailoring in here someplace? I guess that's the question. Um, let's see. Doesn't seem like it. So the tailoring bench we should be have access to then. Right? Yeah. Once they get complex clothing, then we should have access to the tailoring bench, and they can actually take advantage of a lot of the stuff we can... We have tons and tons of materials for, for clothing here. So that'd be fantastic. Uh, Kuro's having a break. Everyone's gonna have a break here in a minute. But you know what? You could be you could be starving, so it could be worse. And then we'll just keep our eyes peeled for anything we could hunt, or buy, or do whatever. But yeah, there's no animals wander, wandering around here. Gotta keep an eye out. Nope, nothing. Nothing going on. Which is what we'd expect for this time of year. Low medicine, yep. I'm aware. I'm aware. And it's not like we can do anything about that. I mean, we can't trade. Can't we have to give electricity to do anything like the trade beacons and that kind of thing? So we're just counting on traders to show up. 
Or we go, we take our clo or take our goods and go in the world here and look for a faction to go trade with. There's just the one faction here close by. That's the only one we can trade with. Once we get into the, the, the Boreal Forest here, we can trade we can probably hop over these guys and trade with these guys. Uh, or further south. And our ultimate goal is down here in the jungle, right? Yeah, tropical rainforest. That'll be fun. That'll be really fun. It's gonna take us a couple of years to get there, probably. I do not know if we'll survive that long, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, so far it's been, you know, a couple days with five, and uh, we're not doing too bad. We're making do with what we have, which isn't much. Uh, there's no real way we can grow, is there? Uh, let's take a look here quick and just do a order zone area growing zone. Let's see here quick. It's gonna say too cold, right? Bad temperature cannot grow. Yeah. If it was indoors, like someplace heated, hard to say, right? What would it take for a growing zone in here? It would need light and heat. And we can't have it open to the, way, the elements. So, bad seasonal temperature. If we raise the temperature up, though, then it needs light. I don't think the fire's gonna be enough light, though. I'm willing to try it. Let's go, let's put a campfire in here. Because if we can grow some uh, heel root or something like that, I mean, it's gonna take several days for it to grow. It's gonna cost a lot of wood in the meantime. Um, Sloan is filled to healed. Awesome. Let's get Larson on their feet again. What is Sloan good at? We didn't even look at that, did we? Can't do firefighting. Can do animal handling if we ever get any animals to tame again. Uh, can do constructing. Not a, not great at constructing, we can do it. And then art, I guess. Or researching. Well, he's not the best at researching. Yeah, I don't think that this should be a, a gathering spot. And really, that fire's gonna go away eventually. Negative 43 outside. Holy cow, guys. Be careful. Stay toasty, guys. Stay toasty. Alright, so now what does it say? Can I grow bad seasonal temperature? Let's see if the temperature increases enough that it could actually grow in here. We're down to freezing. It says growing season here now. No, now it's cold enough that it's not. Well, all right. Hey, maybe we have some. Maybe we have a chance for food. Okay, so I think small rooms like that might work. Um, let's build another structure on here. And then we'll put another growing area in here. And we just gotta make sure these fires stay stocked. If it gets too cold, they're all gonna die. So we need to make sure these are a priority. Um, but yeah. Hey, it's it's better than nothing. It's gotta stay warm enough is the trick though. And cargo pods, please be please be food, please be food, please be food. Holy cow! What? Are you kidding me? That's like 23 meals worth. Okay. Hauling. Get the hauling crew out there. We got people that are good at growing though too. So that's good. Um Tending the fires is going to be super important. I don't think they'll realize that is the problem. So, yeah, if it drops, we have to keep it on these fires for sure. But I'm going to put some heal root in here uh, as my plan. Uh, structure, let's put a door in here. And then we need an airlock. Oh, boy. Uh, it's going to be tough the way we have this set up. Okay, let's do this. Um... Yeah, do that, and then we can have an airlock on here. Potato plants died because of cold. Yeah, I had a feeling it was gonna happen. We have to let the air get through, okay. Uh, it's fine. Um, then we need a vent. Temperature vent, okay. Now we're talking though. Winter farming, right? Need another campfire in here. We're gonna have two campfires going. If we're gonna make this work. We have 229. Okay, maybe might be able to do this. Let's see. Heal root is what we need next. Heal root. Heal root. And that takes a minimum skill of eight. We can do that. 
Um, how long does it take to grow is the question. Uh, okay, so then there's that. Okay, temperature should be bursting up there really, really quickly. I'm gonna switch this to rice instead of potatoes because rice grows a little bit faster. And I just don't think we're gonna have enough time for anything but rice. Okay, so now we have this. We have a uh, structure steel door put in here. Steel wall in here. Okay. And that should prevent the heat from escaping at all. And then, uh, because this temperature is probably increasing in here now, not freezing anymore. Actually, it's being frozen for the moment. Um, and I guess by the time it actually does... Well, okay, let's do this. Let's do a steel door in here. And then we'll do is say, uh, hold open. And that'll keep it cold in here. Starvation for whom? Crow. Why? Well, eat something, buddy. There's a meal right here. Oh, Crow is not. Crow had a mental break. Okay. That's the reason for that. Okay, so. Oh, I see the hauling people can't drop stuff off then, is the problem. Yeah. Bit of an issue. And I can't forbid things like that. Um, who's on hauling? Larson can do it. Let's do it. Let's do it as a cook for right now. So we can haul some stuff over to where it's supposed to go. I don't want stuff going bad out there. Deteriorating in the... In the... You see, now he's going to try to consume it. I'm going to have to draft him and get him out of it. And then... Crow's collapsed. Okay. And now once he's in there, I'm gonna send uh, non cooks. He should drop it. Uh, where's Crow now? Let's get you into a spot to rest here now, buddy. Take a meal. There you go. And then I'll go rest. I guess I should make lobster sleep in this room, not Crow. Uh, we'll let him sleep the night off, but then we'll move him to place else in the daytime. Okay, now we're talking. So, is this warm enough? Crow's is here now. Yes. It is. And this is, you know, needs light level 50%. Okay, so that's a problem. Not enough light. Uh, can we boost it up with enough torches? I mean, it's saying that it doesn't need the light level 50%, so it's not growing at all. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think winter farm is going to work unless we get actual power. Let's put a torch lamp in here, though. Maybe we can get it to work. I don't know if anything can be bright enough. Terrible mood. Terrible mood. Uh, where is Lobster's bed? There we go. Lobster could be the cooks. Cooks I have the cooks house here. This is still freezing. Good. Yep. So that'll work. Um, maybe he's keeping these fires stocked at least. Uh, it's not enough light, I think, even though it is brighter in here. Well, it's fire, like, these light level, and it's resting, see, so yeah, it's, it's not enough, it's not enough. We need to have some sunlight in it, but we don't have, uh, we can't open up the roof because, uh, Everything would get too cold, so it's catch 22. We cannot really farm indoors here. Well, now we know. Hey, you know what? We have extra bedrooms now, if need be. But, uh, yeah. Not gonna work. Okay. It was worth a try. I, I knew that light level was gonna be the issue. So if we wanted to get there, it would take us to research electricity, and then sun lamps. Let's see here quick. Um, I don't know what that unlocks. We have to research sun lamps? It might just give it to us if we do it. Solar panels. Yeah, we have to research that. So we need 3,600 research, another 1,800 research. Uh, so that would take a long time, wouldn't it? Very long time. Refining. Chem fuel from wood. Oh, that's new. 
I mean, yeah, that's what we got to think about. If we, want, if we want the we want the colony, do we want the tribals to enter the uh, the modern age? Is the problem. And I don't, I don't, I wanted them to be kind of tribal still, but then again, I mean, I'll have to a way to get through the winter here without uh, without eating people. I guess, I guess maybe the tribal people don't get over, get over it faster. Maybe, maybe it's a nice little subtle debuff, like a subtle, a shorter debuff. Um, cook vandalism is gonna last for one, two days. Okay, four days. Yeah. People are starting to get over their their dead friends though for the first time in a while. Darius has only got six days left. Grasshopper's got sixteen hours left before we forget all about Grasshopper altogether. So that's great. Um, Sloan is taking advantage of our system here. The non cook, you stay out of there, buddy. You eat the meals we have. Um, we're gonna set these meals as uh, we're gonna boost this up um, further. I'm gonna give him another 10. I know it's a lot to ask for, but we have it. Oh, we need another chair in here. That's another thing we need. Holy cow. Yeah. Uh, I, I, it was not, it was in a, it was in a moment of, of desperation. I made this chair table here. Um, and people are not using them at more than once here. So we'll do that. All right. Get those built Sloan. You don't mind. Larson's got the other one. I'll see if Larson's gonna do better than you. Come on, Larson. Show him what you got. Ooh, Kuro's in it too. Oh, we got a chair building contest. Okay, so uh, Larson's entry is a normal chair. Sloan's entry. Complex clothing is done. Oh, man. Fantastic. Uh, now we have to decide how we want to do this. Smithing. Can we do smithing? I think we can do smithing with fuel by wood. Um, beds, crafting for metal and tools. Our people are very good at crafting. Maybe we need to take advantage of that. All right, let's research it. I think we need to research that because we can take advantage of that fact if, if uh, we're careful here. All right, Lars Sloan's entry is a shoddy chair. Okay, he takes second place and uh, Kuro takes third. Way to go, guys. They're planting in here still, even though this isn't going to grow or it doesn't seem like it's going to grow. Worst case scenario, once this is done, I open up the ceiling in here a little bit. I mean, how long does this take to grow? It's going to take uh, six and a half days to grow. And at 50% growth rate, it's, it's going to be, you know, good. So yeah, fun experiment, I guess, but nothing going to come from that. And again, I can't, I can't have the light in here, can I? If I open up the roof in here, let's do zone area, no roof area. As soon as I do this, it's going to be too uh, cold in here. And just like that, all the heat's gone. Yep. So there's a catch, it's a catch 22. Yep. It's a catch 22, so we can't do it. All right, so we have some bedrooms then. Building these zones. That's right. Um, let's well, can put uh, Sloan over in this other room here. I don't think I like the bed like that though. There, that's good. And then what do we have for floor? Anything? Nothing really. Uh, steel is fine. Uh, let's see. Flooring. Concrete. It's not going to be a beautiful bedroom or anything like that. Alright. So we'll work on that soon. Lobster's hard at work. He's got four more meals left there. That way if we get like wild animals coming through here, we can lock it up and uh, stop them from trying to get in here. I like, I like having the door there. It's a nice idea. Okay. So, we, we don't have enough for this. Um, granite tile. Well, what we'll do is de deconstruct this, maybe? Steel wall. Limestone wall. Here we go. It is cold out, though, so they won't be able to deconstruct for long. And uh, deconstruct over here, too. Get some work on that done. 
Well, it's thinking of 34 out. Larson's probably gonna get frostbite again. Let's let Rico work on it. Actually, we got three good constructors now, looks like. So people are ready, willing, and able. We're definitely improving the moods quite a bit, though, despite the fact that we have minor break risks for everybody. That used to be like extreme break risk like an episode ago. So, you know, kudos to everybody for pulling their weight around here. It's working out okay. Uh, let's see. Why does it look so funny over here? That's why. And a roof collapsed because it was too far away from supports. Okay, nobody got injured though. That's good. Uh, and let's let's cancel this one because I don't need that last block here calling on anybody. Whatever roof is being held up there still. Cool. Well, I guess that'll do it for this episode. We we managed to hang on here, and we're almost halfway. Th well, we are halfway through winter, so uh, that's fantastic. Uh, we might make it, and when spring hits. We'll be hitting the road once again, and our small little colony will uh, move on to the next area, and we'll have, hopefully, plenty of food eventually that we can uh, take advantage of. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back for another episode in a day or so. Hope you guys are enjoying the series still. Uh, I think this is shaping up. I, I was not thinking we'd be making it this episode. Uh, we're at, like, episode, like, eight now. I really didn't think we'd I'm making, like, episode four. I didn't think we'd make it this far. Uh, but we've hung on pretty well here, I think. And uh, we're turning the corner on it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more. Have a good night.